I'm Paul, and I am a retired interior designer, and I am an avid collector of a lot of things. Too many things, but it's gotten way out of hand. I don't mind if someone calls me a hoarder. It's obviously a hoard. I just collect and collect and collect and collect, and now it's eating me alive, you know what I mean? It's just not good. As an interior designer, I really like to collect artwork, figurines, sculptures, planters, and vases, oil paintings, watercolors, antique frames, lots of antique mirrors. Or if I find a frame, I can put a mirror in it and make it a mirror, and any kind of piece of furniture. I love old bird baths. Every time I see one, if it's a good deal, I'll buy a bird bath. And also, I like to collect all kinds of materials because I love fabrics. I mean, I'm kind of a fabric whore. All kinds of Hawaiian shirts. I probably have 150 Hawaiian shirts I've collected. Lamps. I, I have so many lamps. I'm a lamp guy. And I have no idea how many lampshades I have. But I do know that when I walk through the house that, wow, you have a lot of lampshades. I'm Colleen, and I'm Paul's sister. Paul is a hoarder. Absolutely, no question. A collector that turned into a hoarder. When you fill up the house to the point that you have to put things in your backyard, your side yard, your front yard, I think he's really over the top. Just can't help himself. I pick up stuff that I see on the side of the road during the bulk pickup day. I love old clay pots. So a pot like this is between like $25 and $35. And it's got all the green stuff on it that I love. That's gorgeous. It's all about the prize with Paul. When he goes to the thrift store or a garage sale, or somebody's put out good junk on the side of the road, that's endorphins. That is like, wow, look at this. You know how much this is worth? Digging for gold, you know? But he just can't part with stuff. When I met Skippy, it was magical. We had the exact same taste. We were both photographers, and so that's one of the things that really sort of bound us together, and it was just wonderful. I believe that what Skip really liked about me is that I was outgoing because he was so shy. I think he wanted to be more like me, and I wanted to be more like him. He was very detailed. Everything was clean all the time. So the house was immaculate. Of course, when I moved in, I had a lot of stuff. So I know he didn't like that, but it was all in the garage then. But I was able to put stuff upstairs, so it worked out great. I was able to do my interior design work up there, and we just had a regular house. But we had a great relationship, so it was OK. He put up with me, actually. One day, I was out of the house. Skip had gone into the bedroom, and there was a step down. And he lost his balance. And he fell. By the time I got here, he was in the hospital. And about eight days later, he died. It was so fast that it was just, <laughs> pretty bad. I miss him so much. Paul was very distraught when he did pass away, and he called me. He could barely talk. And even to this day, if you say something about Skip or there's a memory of Skip, he's very, very emotional. After Skippy passed away, the next couple years was not really good at all. I had no one, so I was just a recluse in this house and just started collecting and collecting. I just, I guess I just didn't want to deal with the fact that he was gone. Skip's passing did make it more extreme. I think he was filling a void. 
And because he, he could, because Kip was no longer there to keep him from not. I had this huge house, and I thought, well, we got room for that, we got room for that, we got room for that. I think I was just trying to replace what I lost. The last time I was in Paul's house was six years ago. It was shortly after Skip passed away. I was surprised at how much he had collected. It's just gotten worse and worse and worse. It makes me really sad that I don't know where his ashes are. Um, I mean, come on, Paul. You know, that's not good, you know? How would you like it if you died and someone had your ashes and they lost you, you know what I mean? He would be so disappointed in what I have done. So I really want to make amends with Skip. <laughs> Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, look at this team of people here, right? Ready to do some work for you, right? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Yeah, I want to say thank you all for being here. I usually go straight into what the plan is, but before I do that, I really want to show how this is going to be an uplifting experience for you. <laughs> okay. All right? Yeah. I know something that Paul doesn't know, and that is that Alicia and her two children are here to see Paul. He's never even met these kids. <gasps> oh. <laughs> hey, Goldie. Let her come to you. You say hi to Uncle hey, Paul? Hey, <laughs> uh, Hey, George. How's it going? <laughs> so, Paul. What is it like to see them? <laughs> it means everything to me <laughs> that they would take the time and want to do something like this because. <laughs> and how long has it been since you've seen them? I've never seen George. Right. I've never seen Goldie. Yeah. Oh, it's my heart. <laughs> Uh, just so everybody knows, this is Alicia, Paul's niece, right? And great nephew and great niece. And I'm going to point over to Casey for a moment. He is the CEO and owner of Stand Up Guys. He's actually the husband of Alicia and the dad to little Goldie and Georgie. Am I right about that? Yes, you are. And we're thrilled to have your whole stand up team with us. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And um, Paul. The whole point of us clearing the space is to have experiences like this, except more of them. Absolutely. Right? That would be the, just the best. OK, everybody, it's time to get to work. Family members, are you ready? We yeah. Ready. Okay, let's, yes. let's go. All right. Go. Go. Gently. We place Paul in a perfect position so he can start deciding, let that go, give that away. We're going to kind of hold things up. Okay. And you're going to say, oh, no, or yes. I kind of want to know what your thinking yeah. is and just right. see how you start responding to what's coming okay. out from under the piles. Right. So I'm starting with this chair. So those two Victorian chairs can go. OK. In the dumpster. Yes. The frame. That's so nice. Um, and that can go. My blue chair can go, the microwave can go. Microwave goes. The artwork, yeah, you can get rid of the dollars. He's so far throwing 90% of everything away. That can go, that can go, everything can go. This goes. That can go. Trish. Oh my gosh. Paul filled up one dumpster full and stuff stacked on top of it. They took that one away brought in another dumpster, and that one is already starting to get full. Plus, there's another dumpster that's just scrap metal. We had done the equivalent of one week's worth of work, and it looks beautiful. We have motored along for another hour, and we've really cleared out the entire front yard. So 
We're Good. ready to start into the entryway of your home. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay, great. What do you think of that? Awesome. Awesome. The first thing we need to attack is to get into the living room and start bringing everything out. I'd like the family to go inside the house. They bring it out, they put it in our drop zone, and I'll have all the rest of my organizers putting all that stuff that the family's bringing out into the categories that we've set up. Boom, ready to go. Hey, family members. Yes, yes. ma'am. While you're in here, how do you feel about your progress? Good. Oh, it's going. Oh, yeah. it's right? going. Isn't yeah. this what you've been wanting to do? Yes. Uh-huh. Mom's got her hard hat on, so she's ready to go. <laughs> well, she needs a hard hat on, I'll tell you that. I know that there are hundreds and hundreds of paintings, and so I feel it's necessary to start talking to Paul about what we're gonna do with the art. All right, so I'm gonna be holding up paintings, and you're going to say, sell. Arch, sell. Okay, that's gonna go into the U-box for selling. Sell. Sell? Wow. Okay, grab it. Sell, 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 uh, stays. Stays? Stays. Okay. He's answering those questions, making those decisions so quickly, like four seconds, five seconds per painting, which is unheard of for someone who likes to hold on to stuff. Sell, sell, sell. Sell. Sell, uh, keep, let's keep. Okay, Colleen, come on in here for a second. Okay. And start doing what I've been doing. You've been watching? Yes. So you just move quickly. Sell, sell. I think I'll keep that one. You'll keep it? I feel like the reason that the going through the artwork went so well is because Paul wasn't saying get rid of. Paul was saying keep and sell. Sell, sell. If he's selling it, it's still his until he sells it. I don't feel like he did any letting go. Keep? Yeah, it's a keep. Keep or sell? Keep, no, keep. No, keep. no, it's a keep. Sell. Going through the paintings, he kept a lot. I mean, he did a good job with that moving through them. Yeah, look at the drafts. But it was yeah. so much sell, and my concern is, sell. then if those items don't sell, is he gonna be able to part with them? Just be careful, that was Skib, so we're gonna hold on to that. Let's take a moment. Yeah, so he had that when we met. I feel like sometimes Paul uses that it was Skip's and that's his reason why he can't get rid of it. But he knows that that gets everybody's heart. He can't part with this because it was Skip's. He was such a great photographer. He was just like me and loved old barns and stuff like that. He did all that. Mm hmm What do you want to do with these? Yeah, so we're going to hold on to those. Keep all these? Thank you. OK. It concerns me that this is just enabling the same problem, that we're gonna just end up with a lot of stuff still. It doesn't feel like we're doing what we came here to do. <laughs> Paul is actually interested and excited about his art sale. And we're taking all of the art and we're going to start presenting it to Paul so he can make a decision. I think you said that we're going to go low, medium, and high. Is that correct? And it's like a big parade that we're going to design here. And Paul is making great decisions. Low, low, low. That could be medium, low, low. That could be medium. Uh, high and medium, low, low, low. Good low. job, Paul. Keep it up. Oh. There is so much going on behind the scenes. We've got such overgrowth in the backyard and just tons of stuff thrown into the side yard. So I have to chop down, weed whack, pull out the weeds, and just really try to beautify the space so we can have a backyard 
And that side yard is just jammed with furniture, tools, glass, everything that you could imagine. And the stand-up guys are just cleaning everything on that side yard. And meanwhile, the art sale is starting in the front of the house. All the artwork is lined up beautifully. We send out invitations to thousands of people on the internet. We're ready for big numbers to show up. And we wait for a customer. I am concerned about what's gonna be left over with the artwork. There's absolutely no way any of that artwork could come back in the house. There's not enough wall space. Well, hey there, how's it going today? This is all my stuff. Well, I hope you can find some stuff. Okay, great, thank you. The art sale didn't go so well. I was hoping for a lot more people to come by and, and a lot of stuff to leave the property, but that didn't happen. We had 10 customers. We made 300 bucks. With all that beautiful art, I wouldn't call it an exact success. One of Colleen's biggest issues is what are we gonna do with all of this stuff? Thankfully, Paul was ready. He actually called a consignment person who had a big truck to load all of these art pieces, furniture, lamps, shades. Paul did find somebody who was willing to come by and pick it all up, take it off the property. That was unfortunate that more things couldn't have gotten sold, but oh well. I mean, and now it's in storage and it's out of his house, so that's a good thing. I think I know what that is. <laughs> Dorothy and her team found this for you. That's great. <laughs> That's great. How does it feel to have Skip in your very hands. This feels the best ever. <laughs> I'm sorry I misplaced you. I didn't mean to. You have a lot of grief about what happened to the house, <laughs> right? Can you talk to Skip right now? and tell him whatever you feel you want to tell him. Yeah, well, I'm so sorry that I did so much <laughs> to the house that we kept so beautiful. I apologize. I didn't mean to, but we're gonna have our house back. This is a healing moment for <clears throat> you. You meant so much to me. <laughs> Maybe I didn't always express it. But in my heart, it's been so empty without you. And it's all going to get better. It's onward and upward now. It is. It is. I just need a little break. Listen. <laughs> you want to start? You want me to take the family away? And just... <laughs> okay. Okay, honey. Right. Okay, This was an extraordinary hoard. We sent out five tons worth of stuff that's being thrown away. We donated, we cleaned every room in the house. We achieved absolutely what I set out to achieve plus more. It was fantastic. <sighs> Ready to show the family. Oh, oh, 
Good. Paul and family, welcome to your home. It's so fabulous. Great. Seeing it for the first time, I think, was a true shock to everybody. Actually having a kitchen, actually having space to sit down. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my um, gosh. It's a bedroom. Look at this. It's great. Your sanctuary has been transformed wow. into Absolutely. a true sanctuary. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. And here we've got Cheryl with a bunch of tears. Oh, happy yes. tears. Yes. Oh, so happy for you. Uh, it's just I remember in the beginning, and he would just be just curled up in one little section of his bed. He would eat there, he would read there, he'd watch TV there, and now you've got a whole house to live in. Yes, yeah, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. It's just great, it's just wonderful. I didn't see Paul getting overly excited about the kitchen. I didn't see him getting overly excited about the living room. But I did see Paul really take a moment in the garden room. Wow. He can already see the new urn that we've purchased for Skip's ashes. <laughs> Well, Skippy, I hope you're a lot happier now. Mm. I got the house clean for you. Mm. Yeah, that's you so great. You want to show your family? Yeah. Yeah. This is Skippy. Aww. Hey, Skip. But truly, the emotion comes when he goes outside to the garden. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this garden party. Going out in the backyard just made me think about Paul's great niece and, and nephew for them to come and visit and be able to run around, little kids playing in Uncle Paul's backyard. I think you said you wanted to say a few words. I, I really would like the organizers and everybody. You want everybody <laughs> here? You want the rest of the team here? Yes, please. OK. If it's a party, let's make it a party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I just would like to say, from the bottom of my heart, all of you people to come all over from all over the country. You don't even know me in the outpouring of love from all of you and coming all the way here to help me. I could never expect anything in the whole world. And I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for being here and helping me to get my home back. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, Dorothy. <laughs> Let's make it happen, shall we? I'm very optimistic about the future that uh, I can have the home back just like I wanted, and I can have my friends come and my family come. Being able to work through the grief is something that I probably knew I had to do, but never took the time to do it. And so this gave me the opportunity to express my grief and to be able to open, open myself up. Hey, Goldie. Goldie. I made you this little chair. You want to sit in it? Have a seat. Yay! Uh -huh. Uncle Give me a Paul! Kiss. Paul has developed a lot of insight into why he was engaging in such extreme hoarding behaviors. I've secured a therapist for Paul who's going to help him to continue the grief and loss process so that he doesn't end up going back to acquisition to feel good. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Absolutely. We love you, Paul. We all love you, honey.
Hi! Thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.